when I first moved here, again, I didn't have any friends or anything like that. I just grabbed my bags and came to Cincinnati after uh, undergrad. Henry Adjaman came to Cincinnati by way of Ghana and is in his fourth year as a student at the University of Cincinnati College of Pharmacy. He never dreamed his pursuit of better health for the world would be propelled by the COVID-19 pandemic as he helps put more shots in arms. I feel like those five to ten minutes that I have with a patient can actually impact uh, their life and also change their perceptions about immunizations. So I think that is our way of pharmacists to be able to uh, educate people. School leaders say more than 250 pharmacy students are using their immunization training, joining others at hospitals, retail pharmacies, and internships. Katie Grice has also helped at long-term care facilities. A lot of the people that I visited in long-term care facilities, we were going right into their room, so that's kind of where they live, and they were super appreciative for us to be there. Associate Professor Mike Hegner says the 20-hour training has been in place since 2002 with plenty of practice, and students also complete clinical rotations as they earn their doctorate. That's a great win for everybody. It um, helps us feel like we're making a difference and providing value to the community as educators. And it also helps the students see firsthand how their education and learning is really pushing health care and patient care forward. Together, these students are giving hundreds of shots, helping beat COVID-19. It's definitely something that's really amazing and something I've been really proud to be a part of and proud to represent the College of Pharmacy with. All right, and those students that we talked with will be graduating in the spring. I'm told some will go to a residency, some will go straight into practicing at a pharmacy. We're live at UC Medical Center. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5. Dan, how's the college preparing now for the next round of vaccinations? Well, it's amazing, really, Mike. They're already training an additional 100 pharmacy students as well as pharmacists to be ready to continue this vaccination process. All right, Dan Griffin live for us tonight at UC Medical Center. Thank you.